When we look at authentic transformation in South African rugby, when we talk about creating a legacy worthy of the 1995 World Cup winning Springbok team, it doesn't begin on this field. It begins in the junior structures. It begins in development. Now, the EP Kings seem to have cracked that code. They're under-19s unbeaten out of 10 games this season. It's a team full of superstars that leave nothing out on that field. Clearly, these young players are painting a very bright future for South African rugby. Made up of 50% players of colour hailing from the eastern province and border regions, the EP under-19 side is proving to be the template for transformation in South African rugby. They're very disciplined uh, boys and I've also got a uh, good uh, leadership group in my, in, in my team which is uh, Jeremy Ward as a captain also is part of it and Lusanda and Junior Pocomela, SF Nivot, all those ladies. I think they, they are very good kids. They are willing to learn in the game and also the fact that they respect me as a coach. I know I'm, I look a bit young <laughs> but I think uh, the respect they give it to me and also what I put on the table to the boys and all, they, they also make sure that they take it and, and, and bring it to the field. Built on a foundation of teamwork and respect, the Eastern Province youngsters have only lost once this season and have secured a critical home semi-final in the Curry Cup competition. We've excelled this season so far because we've been able to adapt our game to the opposition, really, and we're with it. They, they offer space out wide and we're able to attack wide. If, if we know that our forwards can dominate, then we can dominate them up front. So we've done so well because we've been able to adapt our game and play how we want to play, but also to get the best of the players in terms of the opposition as well. So our is very hard, like we do believe like everyone believes, especially after the five games, like beat the Bulls, like beat the top teams. Like I'm sort of believing, and yeah, we do our homework and then we never underestimate teams. And like in our team, we're kicking with our, our team. Like we don't have like rock stars and stuff. We all like play as a team, like we're part of the team, play for each other. Training together every single day for the whole year. I mean, it's made it's made things easier. I mean, a lot of the guys live together. We're all in different houses together, so we sort of become brothers and we sort of become a big family. And this, this brotherhood really is thriving through at the moment. They really play for each other. I mean, they communicate very well together. They played against each other in the majority of their school lives and now they're playing together and they've formed a formidable unit, particularly on the field of play. And then now I've got to bring up the coach and I think Inzon Dilla Stick has done an unbelievable job with regards to coaching and mentoring of these kids and that's a large part of it is the management of the players, particularly off the field, which is sometimes more difficult. I think he's done an exceptional process and I, and I can only think a guy like himself would be, you know, particularly going forward, a potential super rugby coach here at the Kings. With just one round of group matches remaining, Eastern Province will be looking to defeat Western Province on Friday and secure a meeting with the Lions or the Cheetahs in the semis. Now we know for a lot of these under-19 superstars, the end result is playing alongside these legends for the senior team here at the EP Kings. What is clearly working are the support structures. The players are doing their job on the field. Now it's up to us, the fans, to start filling the stadiums.